the connection between Viola and myself cannot be denied. I, a black woman, freed another black woman who was falsely accused and convicted for taking a stand against racism and discrimination. Black history was not part of my learning when I was a student in elementary school or high school. So I knew nothing about Viola Desmond. Once I did find out about Viola Desmond, I mean, it sort of stayed in my head. Hearing about her, reading about her, talking to her sister about her, I do look at myself and ask, do we have the same values? Viola Desmond was a very strong believer in education. I strongly believe in education as well. I marvel at people, especially Black women, who are entrepreneurs. Viola Desmond was an entrepreneur. She encouraged many people as well. And I believe in equity and justice. And so did Viola Desmond. When I was appointed as the Lieutenant Governor in 2006, first Black person in Nova Scotia, and only the second Black person in all of Canada to be a Lieutenant Governor, I executed the Royal Prerogative of Mercy to grant posthumously a free pardon to Viola Desmond, saying, it represents the unwavering recognition of her innocence and wrongful conviction of all those years before and rights a wrong that never should have happened. History is filled with tales of injustice. It is only on rare occasions with the clarity of hindsight and benefit of careful thought and measured reason that a society comes together to undo the wrongs of the past. But make no mistake, it is impossible that with the stroke of a pen and the granting of a free pardon, history is forgotten and the proverbial slate is wiped clean. On the contrary, this very moment in the Viola Desmond story will ensure her legacy lives on in legal journals, in newspapers, in human rights research, in political science debates, and in race relations study. And I will add to that the $10 bill, because we'll raise curiosity. Who is this black woman on a $10 bill? She's the first woman other than Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II to appear on Canadian bills. Her impact is here forever, as far as I'm concerned. And this is really important to me to be able to do that for Viola Desmond. I think the world of her for what she's done, and I really wish I would have known her. I admire her, respect her, and will continue as long as I'm on earth to be able to talk about her because you see, our names will always be connected. The former Lieutenant Governor, the Honorable Man Francis, freed her, gave her free pardon. So that connection, Man Francis Viola Desmond, those names will always be connected.